mentioned by uh, Kunal Dagal, a research scholar in IFLU, who is being discriminatively not allowed into the campus uh, for what, whatever reasons we really don't know. Uh, I request you all to have a look at it. Uh, if we look into the slogan of Ambedkar Students Association, it is educate, agitate and organize, of which education takes the prime importance. Right? It is the first step and we have a uh, few faculty sitting among us who have been standing with us uh, from the beginning of the struggle and who have also stood with us you know, since times uh, this university has been established. And we also have faculties who are right now licking the boots of Vice Chancellor and among them there are Dalit faculties and uh, I feel sad to tell that most of these institutional murders that are happening in this university are you know, primarily because of these Dalit faculties who are always siding up with those, you know, upper caste people for you know, to get projects worth crores, to, to get power positions and all this. I am proud to be sitting among, you know, these faculties who are right now with us and I would like to invite Professor K.Y. Ratnam, one among these faculties, to speak a few words. Respected Chair, Ramji, President Ambedkar Students Association, Ayu, Kavya, Professor Periya Swami, Vice Chancellor, Dr. Gunratan, Dr. Tatagat Sengupta, and friends, faculty friends and students friends. I feel proud to be here on this occasion of 125th birth anniversary of Dr. B.R. Ambedkar in memory of Rohit Vemula. Just now I listened to Radhika Vemula. While saying last word, she says that she wants to see the victory of Rohit Act. Yes, I think we are going to celebrate the victory of Vilivada by passing Rohit Vemula Act. We are for that. We are in struggle. We know that what happened. We have a very limited time. I am not going to say many things here because friends are there to say. I wanted to remind you, while listening to Professor Periyaswamy's words, I really touched by, see, you have a faculty who like to create a hope among us. You see, he wants to raise the fellowships. He wants to get away with the discrimination. He wants to see the welfare of all the students, not only SCST, BC minorities, all the students. Such a humane heart you have on one side in university and you have the faculty who would like to cut down our food, cut down our electricity, cut down our internet, cut down all our amenities that are created. Now what else you want to say? Such a vice chancellor we could see. On that day I was there in the heads and deans of meeting and he was telling that this is the agenda of the students that we have to implement. People were there to say it is a blackmail agenda. You see, students' agenda cannot be a blackmail agenda. Universities are men. They have utopia. Universities have utopia. Universities are to make the rules, not to break the rules. I don't think so. Yes, they break the rule here. They did not allow Takes Ambedkar, who is the grandson of Ambedkar. And when they went and celebrated, this is the second celebration that we are doing here. Already they celebrated the gate, outside the gate, not inside the gate. And Rohit, mother, was not allowed to celebrate. And no, the, she, she says it very affectionately. She wants to see the statue of Rohit. And she wants to cry. She is you know, speaking with the the the, from the bottom of her heart that I wanted to see my son's uh, statue there, sit there and you know, spend some time and want to come out. 
why university is not allowing me to come there? You know, what else you want? And humanism on one side, another side, exactly opposite on another side. This cannot be an university. Universities are meant with a, with a vision. Ambedkar said, higher education is a panacea of this country. We need a higher education. Higher education is a must for all the oppressed classes. If that you want to take away, I think there is no... I think what uh, Dr. Gunaratan said is, Article 21 is a part of that higher education. It's a right to life for me. Without higher education, this country cannot move forward. My friends, if we wanted to talk of so many things, like you know what Professor Periaswani said, you have a professor on one side who talks about the welfare of the people, and you have the faculty on one side want to attain warfare, not the welfare. Wardens, a chief wardens, not to take care of the boys or girls' welfare, but the warfare. I think this cannot be tolerated on the campus. I think that's not good on a campus. Universities or institutions, there are institutions. Institutions cannot be partisan. I am saying to the, as a, as a, as a student of political science, I would like to say, Students are students. When the students are beaten up by the police, you must stand with the students. Whether you are this organization, that organization, whatever the organization that you are, you are students. You cannot sit along with administration and when the students are beat, your fellow students are beaten up, you cannot sit with administration. Nowhere in the country that happens. You are student. Today you must be enjoying that some people are beaten up by police. But tomorrow you will be beaten up. Look, you are also beaten up. But you are a student. You must stand with the solidarity of the students. That's my appeal all the students. You cannot be you know, enjoying at the cost of others. That's not the students. Students are united. If someone comes and divides, you have a ideological battles. You have some petty things. There are some things. Personal. What happened in August 2015? Institution must, I think it has the ability to resolve. Institution has the capacity to resolve the students' issues. But institution should not take the life of the students. Cannot take the life of the students. That is not institution. That is not institution. 2015, August, if the institution responded the way it's supposed to respond, I think Rohit would have celebrated grandly 125th year of Ambedkar's birth century, a birth year. We lost him. We lost him. Rohit is a history. Now Rohit is not among us. He's a history. But the history that he wrote in 2015 January and just before his death in a, uh, 2015 in a December, sorry, December 17, that letter and 2016 January, the letter that he wrote. If you take these are the historical documents, I think that is the history of Rohit. Rohit's body may not be with us, but Rohit may be history. But a history that is is the rewriting. I think entire Indian university's history is being rewritten. Yes, is rewritten. Rewriting. Not only Indian university's history is writing, the entire Dalit discourse, not only Dalit discourse, entire anti caste struggle is rewriting. That is Rohit. Rohit is a history. He may not be here. But that history is looking from the stars. He is looking for us. He is looking at us and he is enjoying what we are celebrating. But he will be enjoying more the victory of Viliwada when we get, as I said, when we get the Rohit Act. 
my friends i think that history what dr gunratan said we are carry forwarding we are with you we would like to we are with you we would like to be with you in future whatever that you take i must acknowledge here before taking leave there are some concerned faculty especially women faculty i must uh, salute to them they stood with uh, radhika vemula some faculty a very few women faculty comes from scst you see other backgrounds also they are really touched i think they are the backbone of our struggle we must salute them the women faculty of university of hyderabad they are really with us i really overwhelmed by their compassion their struggle and their love for struggle their life they want to give their life i think so from morning to evening there are faculty who may as a principal at least 5 minutes they must spend in the veli water i really i really salute for their commitment i think they are the faculty i don't want to name i think they are here uh, all those faculty and along with them we are there and we are with you i think dr tatagat i need not to say i think he went in extent of you know i i don't have words to say i think he's here i should not say about him i think that is a commitment that's the commitment i think ram ji said there are faculty who are but there is also commitment among the faculty and the students commitment there is no thing uh, there is no words to express their commitment i think all the rich scholars they marched into the jail they were not taken to the jail i don't say it. they marched into the jail and they knocked the jail and they marched into the jail singing the victorious songs of the veliwada hmm. that's it i think i must salute them thank you very much jaybeam